this video I want to give tips actually on preparing your uh, first time travel, actually the preparing of the preparing. What do you can think of? First time, how long can you go on a travel? It doesn't matter, it's your travel for a first experience. If you're not very sure if you want to go, uh, if traveling alone is something for you, or actually the combination of the group is good, you can also choose to go on a short travel. So I go on a weekend experience or a, a one week experience. Uh, traveling is all about the experience. So a short experience is also a travel experience. And on a short trip, it's very easy to see uh, if it's for you. So pick a destination that's good for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a far away experience. So uh, travel in your own country or in your neighbor country is also a traveling. Traveling doesn't need to be far and long and far away from home and do alone. It's your own experience, so you decide what is your travel experience and what do you want. If you want to travel and have, wanted to have a travel experience, everybody has their own wants and needs and what they like. Uh, so look into yourself, find out for yourself, what do I want to get out of this experience? Do you want to have the solo experience? Do you want to meet people? Do you want to be in nature? Do you want to uh, have a culture or do you want a mix of nature and culture? Take all that in consideration and take that uh, with you with finding a destination that's good for you. If you go on your travel with a uh, with the airplane, I will uh, suggest that you take a direct flight. If you're not very experienced, if you have a layover in a country that you don't speak the language and maybe the layover is very short for only an hour, it can give some people stress. They make it themselves to the new airplane or even if their luggage is on time to get on a new uh, airplane. So book a direct flight to a destination. Uh, it is a little bit more easy for you. When you arrive on a destination, uh, before you start to travel, it already costs you a lot of energy preparing, packing and starting the new uh, travel. It is very easy that you already booked a bed ahead. So you already took your time and look in the home in your own comfortable zone and look up a hotel or a hostel and book a bed at least for the first time. And when you arrive in your new destination, you have an address to go to. It is more relaxing to start your travel. When you arrive at your new destination and it's too far to walk to your hotel or hostel, there's nothing wrong on taking a taxi or an Uber. Uh, I most of the times use an Uber. I have my credit card on it. So when you stand outside, uh, you just uh, type in what is your destination and you uh, ask the Uber. The price is already fixed. Uh, you know the number plate of the car that picks you up and they know where you want to go. So no hustle with foreign money or foreign language. Uh, if you cannot speak the language, you just sit there and you don't even have to chit chat and you're actually going to come there. Easy peasy. Most of the times uh, going on travel is meeting people is a big part of the travel experience. Meeting people doesn't have to be that uh, difficult. If you book a hostel, it's actually very easy to meet people. If you go in a hostel and book a dorms room, uh, it's very easy to meet people. A lot of hostels also have uh, communal areas where you can play uh, games or you can prepare your food in a guest kitchen. They also book tours, so you can join in on the tour. So you also know that the people are, uh, who are in the tour also uh, actually stay at the hostel. So it's a very easy way uh, to meet people. If you hear overhear a conversation with people, don't be shy and join in. Uh, it might be that people also say like, hey, we're going go to go do this and that tomorrow. Do you want to join? A very good tip is also if people ask you something, if you... Uh, want to join in to meet people say more times yes say more times yes on travel say more times uh, yes in your life gives you more experience it will help 
uh, if you are in low season or you uh, there are no tours, you can actually use apps to meet people. You have the apps Meetup or Couchsurfing. They all organize events and sometimes also uh, a tour uh, or an experience. And uh, actually everybody who joins in on Meetup or Couchsurfing is very eager to meet new people. So if you go to those types of events, it's very easy to meet. Prepare on being alone. Uh, if you travel alone, be prepared. Do you have some alone time? You want to be alone maybe, or it's too warm outside, it's too cold outside, or like uh, you didn't have enough to do in that day. So be prepared. Have a magazine, have a book, have Netflix, have uh, games on your phone uh, that you can listen to music or podcast. Prepare that already at home that you have something to do. But most of all, you can do this. Uh, subscribe to my channel, watch my other travel videos about destinations and travel tips, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's explore this world together. Convinced that, that traveling is also something you would like to do? Down below in the description, I put a few items that are essential products every traveler needs. Start taking a look at it. You can already order them, of course, and then you already start preparing your travel.